Okay, so finally recording another One Lure Wednesday. This is with the Throwback Lures. Uh, I don't remember what they called it. It's a really long name, Throwback Lures. It's basically a jointed, fairly realistic looking swim bait. Uh, I get a lot of these in my MTB boxes. I got this one in this box. To be honest with you, they're not usually my favorite uh, lures to fish, but like that. they seem to be uh, pretty effective. Uh, I don't think I've had one that I haven't uh, caught fish on before, so I thought I'd give this one a shot. I uh, went out to uh, my favorite pond, the one where I fish most often, and, and sure enough, I, I caught uh, one uh, right up next to the bank on, of course, a cast I thought was bad, and then he released himself and I just let him get back in the water. Uh, a couple of casts uh, later, uh, casting along the uh, other bank, kind of perpendicular where it was, I felt a little uh, tug and uh, hooked into another one and was able to actually land uh, this giant, uh, which we'll see right here in a minute. It's a huge one. So a couple of reasons why uh, these kind of swim baits are not something I necessarily look to tie on. Number one, they all work a little bit different and um, this one says you can twitch it or swim it fast or slow. I don't really find that to be the case. I've had a lot where they twitch, they float, you can vary your speed with this one and I don't know, maybe it's because it's windy or or what, if, if I didn't crank it really fast, it didn't seem to swim right. On top of that, um, Casting in the wind, uh, and this is probably common with all kinds of baits like this, but casting in the wind, it kind of turns flat and spins, which creates a lot of, you know, line twist, and you're likely to get the lines caught up in the hooks, and it reduces your casting distance. So that was that was a little frustrating. Um, anyway, I fished up and down the pond in uh, places where they hadn't been digging it up, and then in places where they did. Um, the good news is they appear to have finally finished working on the pond and uh, all the big earth movers and backhoes and everything are out of the way. Um, so I worked my way down to the end of the pond where they've been doing a lot of work. Uh, and one of the reasons I want to do this is just to kind of see when fish are going to be back at this end and if fish are going to come back uh, to this end. So I worked my way down here and, uh, and good news, uh, fish worked their way back to this end of the pond and I was able to to catch one here in this really uh, chocolate milky water here. I will say one thing for the lure, it, it seems to work well in, uh, in stained, dirty chocolate milk water uh, because no matter what the water looked like, I was able to uh, get some interest. So yeah, it's not, a, it's not a bad lure. Again, not one I'd look to, turf, to tie on every time. Anyway, there you go. That's uh, the trail. What is it called? <laughs> That's the Throwback Lures Trailblazer uh, jointed swim bait. Not bad. 